in our land. Highlights April 8, 2020. Jeff. Article, the Finance Committee comments on the central bank's decision to stop the flow of the dollar. The central bank's goal is really to stop the flow of the US dollar. That's their goal. Remember that's actually an Article 8 requirement, they can only use the Iraq dinar. The articles that came out telling us that they were going to continue and resume the currency auction are BS. On Monday of this week I showed you an article that said the CBI's goal was to stop the flow of the US dollar and that's what the auction are, the US dollar. They don't have any auctions that have occurred past March 19th. They could resume the auctions after the rate change but as of right now the auctions are shut down. That's one of the things that we needed to see stopped as a preparation for the rate change. That's why we're putting a focus and emphasis on this. The ISX stock trading and the currency auction are stopped. We're looking really good. Markets. The good thing is they are enforcing the necessity for a reset. We will get our reset people I believe Trump is working on it he is a gold bug working with a messed up system and trying to keep it propped up until the reset is ready. There was a rumor out from Isaac that no RV until November now. No way. No part of me thinks we will be waiting until November. Everybody is in a waiting pattern for late in the weekend or very early into next week with great expectations I think Iraq will quickly come up to speed everything should go into place once they have a stable currency the government act. Pimpy. We see the auctions have already happened and already you guys are losing your freaking minds over it. But it's clearly an auction. What's gonna happen if the ISX opens and there's no rate change? All doom and gloom and negativity that's gonna be overwhelming everybody. Why? The currency auctions have started there's no doubt about it. It doesn't mean it's the end of the world. It doesn't mean that the rate is not going to change. I still think it's going to change. Frank 26, Gatfa. A like has been telling the citizens, we are in the process of dealing with the exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar and we are in the process of dealing with the dollar in a different way in our auctions. Everything else I don't pay any attention to it. Everything else? Misinterpretation. I'm seeing today's auction as an auction without any cash. Which means nothing has changed. Status quo. Everything is still the same. The auctions have stopped. Delta, Gatfa. In my personal opinion for the CBI not to care about the exchange rate in the market, about 1,300. Gives you an indication that they're about to announce it to the world that they are Article 8 officially and in order for them to do this they have to show the true rate. That's why in my opinion they're not giving cash anymore. And number two is they're about to raise the value then the MPC isn't going to matter anymore. And the 2% compliance is not going to affect them anymore. In my speculations only this, the RI, rate change, could happen at any moment. That's why I'm only watching the Central Bank of Iraq. He's, alack, is about to pull the trigger. Nathan. I actually do know people in the CBI. I went to school in the Middle East. A number of my school friends are now in prominent positions in Iraq and two of which are quite high up in the CBI. The auctions started a couple days ago. The purpose of the auctions is to supply US dollars into the Iraqi economy. The majority of the dollars provided to the CBI are in digital format because the CBI receives its dollars from oil sales. I've been to the CBI auctions. Very rarely does the CBI actually supply the physical USD currency for the auctions. The CBI auctions main priority has been to distribute the digital US dollars into the Iraqi economy. I would expect the actual cash physical currency. Auction within the next few days couple of weeks. I don't know that for sure. It's an educated guess. Vital Brad. It's a rally exciting time right now. I've been reporting on this for the last four years, been following it for the last ten years and what's happening and what I think is expected to happen this week is absolutely incredible. I never put a date on what's going on. I've never put a rate on what I think the Iraqi dinar is going to revalue at. But this East weekend is something to really be paying attention to. I'm a holder of Iraqi dinar. It's going to be a currency that revalues at a much higher rate than it is currently at right now. I will be able to take the Iraqi dinar notes that I have and I believe it's going to be a higher value. You've got to be paying attention to what's happening. Bruce, the big call. Via Wiser now.
we're funneling information in from a number of different sources. All we can do is literally wait and stay positive because we know we're in the zone for this to come out. We are in that period of time where we really do expect this to come forward pretty quickly, I have no idea of anything that would have to drag way beyond where we are now in this time frame of around Easter, I am excited about where we are I am just a little unsure of course when our start time is going to be, you see a lot of things out there. We will see how all of this unfolds before, during and after Easter. Iraqi Dinar Evaluation and Global Currency Reset News Dinar Chronicles Courtesy of Dinar Gurus